Okay, let's go ahead and reconcile February. First we have our credit card statement. Okay, make sure that we select it. All right. Our credit card statement is right here. All right, our ending balance. Right. Ending date. All right, do we have any finance charges? Yes, we do. Okay, again, see, you, when we're entering it right here, we're actually booking a transaction, right? What happens? Well, we know that those finance charges will be added to the balance on our credit card, right? So here they are. All right, what else is happening? Well, our expenses on interest and finance charges goes up as well. So here it is, right? So this amount is both a debit to account 61700 and it is a credit to account 21100 right here, right? So we're reflecting it. Expenses go up, liabilities go up. All right, let's start our reconciliation. Here it is, 2771. All right, what else do we have? Well, we have our charges right here. All right, we can start by checking those off. Here it is, so far so good. All right. And we have our payment. And here it is. We're at zero, right? That's what we want. That means we did a good job booking. And remember that payment, right? That we booked using expense module. Right here, it worked. And we'll confirm it when we reconcile our bank account, hopefully, right? So here it is, we're done. Again, to remind you that uh, QuickBooks Online doesn't prompt you to print the reconciliation report, but I do recommend that you do. So here it is, our um, credit card. Let's see, reconciliation summary, history by account, all dates. Let's see, here it is. All right, so let's confirm. Balance matches, transactions, all good. So we would print it and attach it to our statement. All right, let's move forward. Okay, let's go ahead and reconcile our bank account next. Here it is. All right, make sure that it is selected. All right, ending balance. Okay, ending date. All right, do we have any fees? Yes, we have fees, our uh, service fees. Okay, $25 being service charge again. Once we go forward, we will book this transaction. So let's make sure we know what we're doing, right? So what's going on? Bank uh, service fees right here, right? This expense account, it's going up. So expenses go up when they're debited. What else is happening? Well, they will charge us, and the bank will charge us, and they will reduce the balance in our bank account. And bank account is an asset. It is reduced when it is credited. So here it is, all right? This amount, even though we enter it once, it is still part of the double entry accounting, right? So it is a debit to this account, 61600, and it is a credit to this account, all right, 11100. Let's go ahead and start reconciliation. All right, so what do we have? We have our $25 right here, and then we have our checks. See, remember how we booked them? We booked them through expense module, but it still worked, right? Because we know our debits and credits. All right. Here it is. Remember that payment that uh, we booked, right, right here? It's confirmation that we did a good job, right? But we're not in balance yet because we didn't book everything, right? We still have these deposits right here, and then we have these draws when we took the money out of the business for personal use, right? 
because we as operators of the business or proprietors, we still need to take money home, right? Um, so here it is. Let's book these transactions. And technically, again, let's just go ahead and continue with our expense module and see if we can complete the entire uh, booking, except, of course, for the deposits, through the expense module. So here it is. First, we have our personal checking. So we can say member. And we just say member. I'm going to add it. All right. And uh, we paid out our bank account. Here's the date. Oops. All right. It's okay if we keep it as a vendor. That's not essential to the actual bookkeeping. I mean, it will play a role during reporting, but we can modify it when we have to. All right, payment would be uh, bank transfer, right? Uh, reference would be, let's just write draw. Okay. Here it is. Draw. Okay. Amount $3,000. Okay, so. By now we know what's going on, right? We know that this amount is going to be credited to this account and therefore it will reduce it. So let's reflect that. What else is happening? Well, our equity is reduced, right? And member draw, and I know it's counterintuitive, it's kind of like accumulated depreciation deal, but the bottom line is it's an equity account and an equity is reduced when it is debited. And it makes sense, right? We took $3,000 out of our bank account. What's the offsetting transaction? We reduced our ownership in the business by 3000 We reduced our equity by $3,000. So here it is. Equity is reduced by 3000 It is debited right here. And our bank account is reduced and it is credited being an asset, right? Here it is. So let's save and view. Again, um, we have a few more draws that we're going to book. All of those were draws, right? So again, um, member draw, draw 3000. This time we had 500. All right, probably used an ATM. Yep. Okay, same deal, right? Same deal. Bank account is reduced. It is reduced when it is credited. Equity is reduced when it is debited. So here it is. Debits and credits are in balance. All right, again, to refresh your memory, this is a debit to this account. This amount is a credit to this account. Let's move forward. We're going to book one more draw. Okay, two and a half thousand right here. All right, bank transfer, draw. Here it is. Excellent. Just change the amount. You know exactly what's going on. Let's just make sure, right, that we understand what's happening with our equity. It is reduced. Equity is reduced when debited. What's happening to our bank account? The balance is dropping. We're taking the money out. And being an asset, the way you reduce it is you have to credit it. So here it is, right? Debits and credits are in balance. We're good to go. All right. And the cool part, again, I cannot stress it enough. With QuickBooks, you stay in reconciliation. You can book all those transactions right off the statement. And right here, right, continue with your reconciliation. OK, now we just have the deposits, right? We can essentially book all of those uh, individually if we want to. Or because, again, we know that in this instance, all of our deposits are sales. We can book them as a lump sum because, again, they're conveniently, see, deposits and other credits are summed up right here. Okay, so let's, again, 
just do that for kicks and giggles and we can uh, do that as a lump sum deposit typically uh, it's a shortcut that we have showed in some of our previous simulations um, when we do book something as a lump sum we typically use the end of the month date All right. again all of these are sales so we don't have any investments going on we don't have any loans nothing like that right so we can book it as a lump sum and let's say again to demonstrate that as debits and credits balance out everything will clear all right so that's uh, February sales okay um, let's just say uh, mixed cash uh, cash and merge. we're going to add a new one. All right, and then lump sum, and we're going to use the whole sum right here, right? Because it's conveniently provided for us. Nine, two, three, nine, eight. Okay, so again, it's our February sales lump sum. Um, here it is. Let's make sure we understand the debits and credits behind it. What's going on? Well. We know that all of these, right, they will, all of these deposits, they will increase the balance in our bank account. So during February, the combined sum of these deposits debited our account, right? So in being an asset, when you debit it, it goes up. So 9, 2, 3, 9, 50. What else happened? Well, that money came from sales, right? And sales revenue were increased when they're credited. So we're going to book that our sales went up during the month of February. And here it is, right? So this amount right here, it is a credit to account 41100 Our sales went up. Our revenue went up in February by $9,239.50. And this amount is a debit to this account, right? To our bank account, 11100 And being an asset, when we debit it, it goes up. So let's go ahead and say the new. Okay, here we are. We know that the sum of these uh, deposits equals to these conveniently summed for us. So let's go ahead and check mark those. Here it is, right? And we're off. Wow. Well, is there an error? Well, let's check our bank statement. Oh, we have merchant account fee. We still got a book. Okay, so let's go ahead and book that one. Again, we can book it through our expense module. You know, that's why we do reconciliation to make sure did we forget anything, right? So we paid it to our bank, uh, and we paid it from our bank. So 228-2020, that's um, bank transfer. Here it is. Uh, merchant fee. Here it is, merchant account fee. That's the fee bank charges us for processing credit card payments from our customers, right? So here it is. Uh, and we have essentially our uh, debits and credits. Let's make sure we fully understand those. What's going on? Well, our bank account will be reduced, right? So it has to be credited. And our expense for merchant account fees will go up, so it has to be debited. So here it is, right? We know precisely what's going on. Our debits and credits are in balance. This amount right here oops, is a debit to this account, 61500 And this amount right here is a credit to this account, right, 11100 So let's go ahead and save a new. Go back to our reconciliation. All right, here it is. Now it's showing up. We can mark it. And voila, we're at zero, right? So we didn't make any errors. We just forgot to book this one thing of the statement, and that's why we do reconciliations. So let's finish it up. All right, we're done. Okay, so we can go ahead and look at our summary. All right, so that's our bank. Uh, that's our previous one. Uh, no, here it is, 229. 
reconciled, all good to go. All right, let's make sure that uh, our deposits match. You can see that we did a lump sum booking here, so but it equals to the summary on the statement. And then our charges are detailed, and we can compare and see that they are the same as they are on the statement. So again, we would print the reconciliation report, attach it to the statement, and we're done with February.